Okay, so I really hate pitch correction. You know, most people just use it as an excuse to be lazy and not prepare for sessions, and that's just incredibly disrespectful, both to the engineer, oh, he'll fix it, or to the fans just trying to electronically hack something into a final product. There's certain cases where I think it's okay. You know, I get it sometimes, like uh, you're stuck with a certain performance, you can't redo it, uh, like particularly in this case. What happened was this is a brand new song to this singer, and he gave it his best but he was having kind of an off day. He was just like, you know, I'm not feeling it. Let me take it home and work on it. I'll come back and give it another go. Now, a great usage of this. I'm just going to grab Melodyne and drop it in there real quick. And what we can do is go ahead and pitch correct the scratch vocals. Let him take it home and listen to it in tune. And that way, when he comes back, it'll be that much easier. Uh, Melodyne, I think, is a little bit less horrible than the other softwares out there but it does not work on vegas very well and what happened was i bought this about a year and a half ago i contacted solemnity saying hey why isn't this working for me and they basically responded oh yeah we heard it doesn't work on vegas thanks for your money great well all right i figured out a workaround for it and that's the real reason why i'm here so first thing i'm going to do there's no effects on this track whatsoever i'm just going to hit transfer first and play it Stop the transfer first and then stop the transport. All right, so I've basically gone through this and hit snap to grid. I'm not doing a how-to video on, on Melodyne. I'm just offering up a workaround for using it on Vegas if you're stuck with it, like I am. Um, you have to do it all in one sitting. Don't close the program and come back into it because you'll have to start again from scratch. So again, there's no effects on this vocal whatsoever. And I'm going to solo it. Uh, level out the fader here and I'm going to do a real-time render very important otherwise it does not work digital copy vocal so I'm rendering just the voice and it's going to come out stereo but it's just the way it is So while I'm here, I'm going to make a quick comment that when I do pitch correction, generally what I do is I will make a copy, like basically what I'm doing now, and I will only use the pitch corrected version when I hear something that bothers me. So I don't just snap the whole thing to the grid and call it good. i only using the processed vocal where it needs to be processed so it doesn't sound so robotic and distorted. All right, so there it is. I've uh, just brought back the uh, stereo mix of just the vocal that's been corrected. I selected left channel only because uh, I just need a mono uh, vocal track, basically. Uh, if I try to save this and come back to it, everything that I just did on that track with Melodyne will be gone. All right, so that's basically it. Uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell, yo.